Let's fucking go! Are you serious right now? Your boy had a pop out with the the island girl fit. Oh Jesus, we're feeling ourselves today. You're probably asking why am I feeling myself before this reaction video? Why is there so much energy? We, we just hit 200 subscribers. Now your boy don't drink, right? I'm 21, I can drink. I'm, I'm not about to buy some champagne just to pop, right? We got something better than champagne. We got some fucking prime. We gonna have a toast, a toast to just this journey, all right? We, we gonna get right. Mm, mm. Oh shit, that went in my nose, fuck. Yo, time up, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, I'm drowning in prime, but it's fine. It's fine, 200 subs. Thank you guys so much. I am internally in debt to you and you guys have just been truly amazing. Not only this past month or two, but just this whole YouTube journey in general. I've been doing this for, I think just over two years now. And honestly, I've loved every single bit of it. Anyways, I'll hop into the reaction video now. Turn Island Gal and it is definitely gonna change. And let's go into the reaction. This one's a little crazy, okay? This one's a little crazy because I've heard of this before and I I, I got no clue why people do this, all right? But we gonna figure it out. Eat the woman who wears fursuits every day, my strange addiction. I don't think I gotta say anything more. Let's just hop into the video. My name is Lauren, I'm 19 years old. Okay, I'm 19. Student, and I love to wear fursuits. Like, bro, if you wanted to work at Chuck E. Cheese so bad, just say that. Like, why are you doing all this? I work here in public. I definitely get a lot of weird looks. What? Yeah, you look like, I don't even know, you look like you just finished like celebrating a four-year-old's party and you just haven't gotten out of your costume yet. Lauren's obsessed with wearing fake animal ears, mask, paws, and tails. She admits to dressing as a furry every day. Damn, she says every day, bro. This is my fursona Kira. She is my first fursona I've made. She is a fox. Normally, I'm kind of shy, but... Kira lets me bring out my more outgoing and talkative side. If I'm ever having- You you better be fucking outgoing if you're wearing a white and pink fox costume outside. What? That is fucking insane. I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings, but it, it, yo, that's crazy. This is crazy. Being on the scene, just going out will definitely end the day in a good note. You is not Iron Man, my boy. What are you doing? Uh, okay, so now we get serious. as a kid was really outgoing. I'm totally not shy when her dad died. That's when things started to go downhill with Lauren. Okay. After that, she became introverted. She barely yeah. squeaked by in high school. I became antisocial and shy and just okay. really stayed in my shell. I just felt kind of lost after that. Okay. Basically, Listen, I, I understand that. I'm exact, I was exactly that way. I still am that way, what? I'm shy, introverted. Quite frankly, yeah, I am antisocial because sometimes people are, are people but okay do i feel a little bad for gutting on her yeah because this is all stemming from her father passing away but the, the fursuits really really i mean i know people got different ways of coping but i started getting into the furry fandom like bro if you saw that there's two things right you either think you're in a youtube video you have to think you're in a youtube video or your neck is about to be cut open and your guts are gonna be smeared all over the place because that shit is low-key creepy. She's on a late night stroll. Casual for her, right? But she's like, you know what? I'm gonna pop out with Kira. I'm gonna pop out looking like a fox. So she goes out looking like a fox. And then I'm walking down, chilling, you know, cool. And then I see a fox coming towards my way. It's 11 p.m. Now I have to make a decision. Do I rock her? Or do I run? But if I rock, I could accident. I don't know if I, I don't know if she's gonna kill me, and I, so I can't just assume. So I gotta be a little bitch, and I gotta run. My furries wear their suits while engaging in sexual. Girl, okay, okay, okay. I was gonna say. A person can get engrossed oh, in this. It's creepy. It's creepy. It's creepy. And so Andrew is my little cousin, and he's eight years old. And every time he sees me or sees one of my fur suits, he always begs me to make him one. But his dad really oh, doesn't yeah, want him yeah, getting into yeah, it. Yeah. I would be fucking terrified if I was that kid. Bro, I, I was that I was that kid. If I saw some shit like that, bro, I just start crying. Like you know when you're at a at a birthday party when you're smaller and you start seeing these mascots come in and everyone's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was that kid that saw it and was fucking scared. It immediately ran to my mom or my dad. I was like, what the fuck is that? Why is that coming towards me? Why do you exist? You're not Spider-Man. You have Tim's on. Oh, we at the therapist? All right, let's see what's gonna, what's gonna be happening. Lauren does seem to be 
someone who wants to be optimistic, someone who wants to have fun. If I had a wish for her, it would be that she could feel that playfulness without the suit. Right, right. Respectfully, and just respect. Just one part of you that you're able to express more fully in costume and whether it's possible to get to that point without the costume or even if that's something you're, you're interested in. It could be. It'd be nice to just kind of come out of my shell a little bit Bro, it's got to be hot course, in there. It's got to be so hot in there. Exert myself like that. Mm -hmm. I still would wear the suits and I'd still be okay. kind of crazy, okay. but it would be nice. So we don't have to put it away. We don't have to stop the creativity yeah. and the fun. Maybe, maybe dial it down. Maybe just put it on the table one day. We're wearing my first suits. It's definitely a very rewarding experience for me and I just love doing it, so... I will definitely be continuing this. Lauren is still engrossed in furry fandom. She is currently brainstorming, brainstorming her next fursona. <sighs> that, yeah, fursona. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, that was definitely educational, if I do say so myself. I definitely learned a lot more about furries. So guys, I think we're gonna close out today's video here and kind of just reflect on what i watched i guess again thank you guys for 200 subs i am so grateful for you guys and so appreciative for all the support that you guys have showed me throughout my whole entire time on youtube whether you're still here from like my first ever videos whether you just subscribed literally yesterday or last week it doesn't matter um, I'm extremely appreciative and extremely grateful, so thank you. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share the channel because that's meant tremendously. This video is going to go up on a Monday. Yes, Monday. So I'll talk to you guys all the way back on Friday. And peace out, everyone.